fake news alert, this just did. That'll work. So there is this YouTube ad going around by Honest Mattress Reviews claiming that purple had this powdered substance that could be toxic or harmful for your respiratory system. Now at first, you go throughout the entire ad, you're like, I've seen purple, you know, their egg stunt thing. You're like, oh, this is fantastic, this is cool. Uh, I, I want to learn more about this. And, I mean, there they go. Talking about, we have this study from Harvard. These particles are, are so small that you could ingest and breathe them in and that your respiratory system could get harmed over time. He had a sample of the purple mattress sent to leading Harvard doctor and scientist to test what is the powder and is it safe. In his preliminary findings, he said this. As inhalable microspheres, these have the potential to cause respiratory irritation, especially when inhaled in large numbers as shown in my laboratory. You're like, wow, more people need to know about this. So you share it, you, you post about it in uh, ads that Purple runs, like what about the particles? What did you do about the particles? And then, I mean, that's it. And I think this is disgusting because people that own the mattress or were considering buying the mattress now go, oh, I can't buy that. Let's let's get the next best thing. And, and that's where this whole video comes into play. So I saw this video. It's performed by um, this lawyer, copyright lawyer on YouTube. I'm going to link his channel below. In the, in the case file, it includes that this is actually a lawsuit between Purple, Ghost Bed, and Ryan Monahan. So immediately I go, what the heck is going on here? Uh, who's Ryan Monahan? Turns out Ryan Monahan used to be a PR person pretty high up for Ghostbed and that uh, he had recently left or is t possibly still working. Hey, doing a video here. Is possibly still working for um, Ghostbed. Now, why, why does this concern my video? They're, they're launching a negative ad campaign against Purple Mattress, and it's disgusting. Now you see uh, videos on YouTube, like this one. Got my first night's sleep on the Purple Mattress, and I'm so excited about this mattress. I woke up this morning, and I set my camera. I wanted to give a review. Just got it yesterday, unfolded it, fluffed up. Man, this is the softest bed I've ever slept on. Let me tell you, if you ain't got one, you need to get one. Or this one, for example. I'm still freaking tired, like insanely. So I'm like, it has to be the dust that's probably, I'm either laying on it and it's like, I'm breathing it in or it's getting into my eyes or something and I'm just like, no go. So I put the pillow off to the side and then what I did afterwards is I just took a regular pillow that I bought from a department store. I slept on that for two to three days straight. Just out of comparison, I wanted to see, does it make a difference? Am I going to be more tired? And it turns out, my eyes are no longer tired. Now you've all heard of the placebo effect before, when something with no known therapeutic value can actually make people feel better. So, to kind of go into this, I wanted to call up Purple, see what was going on, and I mean, the, the response I got was fantastic, so uh, the feedback I got was fantastic, so... Uh, big shout out to the customer service guys over there. You're doing a good job. And here, here's uh, my conversation. Um, you mean like record the conversation? Yeah, because I'm 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 seeing all these YouTube videos, and they're kind of the consumers are kind of mad, I guess, uh, that this powder could be toxic to or bad, harmful to breathe in. And I just kind of wanted to get something out there that kind of goes against that claim, kind of the other take on it. The fact that this is just a PR stunt by Ghostbed to defame Purple. So is, is that okay? Yeah, I can answer your questions for you. Okay, so um, give me one sec. I have these written down. Uh, first of all, are you aware of the lawsuit at all? Or you're just customer service? Yes, I am. Okay, so uh, is that still ongoing? 
Um, unfortunately, we're not able to talk about it right now. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure if it is. Um, regarding the material itself, the claim is that it is it contains microparticles, which could be harmful to breathe in. Now, they that's their claim. I'm not saying that's correct. Have you guys tried to do your own research into that to see if that claim is false? We have. Most of the non-toxic powder coating is removed in the assembly process before the mattress and pillow are shipped. In the remaining powder, particles are so small and so few that these products meet the standards for clean room classification. Um, furthermore, the amount of dust and weight size and size is considered safe to all persons, including those who are sensitive or have asthma, according to the EPA. There are independent studies conducted on behalf of Purple. The amount of exposure is a fraction to the maximum safe concentration of particles. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that's a good thing. That's, a, that's, that's good news for you guys. Um, so, I guess, is, is there any place we could see that research? as consumers or is that sort of uh, being held privately until the lawsuit's settled? Um, actually it is on, <clears throat> on our blog page on our website. Okay. And it, is that just done by your own company or is there like a university at all? Because they claim Harvard found these microparticles. I don't know how accurate that is. The uh, locations that did our testing for us, um, we have posted their results and their name okay. on our website on the blog information as well. Plus, all of the information about the litigation is also on um, public records in the Utah County Court System. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have, really. Uh, you know, I'm c I, I was going to make a video kind of doing exactly what everyone else is doing, like, oh, how dare they have this powder? And then I kind of looked into it further, and I, was, I saw this as a negative ad campaign against you guys, and I don't know, I just wanted to make a quick little video about it. So, I mean, this information, that's awesome. That's good news. Okay. Uh, we have posted what they found on our website. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Is there anything else I may answer for you? Uh, not today. I might be a future buyer when I have the money together, but uh, I, I really do appreciate the call. Absolutely. If there's anything else, please give us a call. We'll be happy to answer any questions. All right. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day, sir. Bye-bye. Anyway, that was the video. Uh, yeah, I, I, I thought I was going to make a funny video of trashing purple, and I, I just got completely surprised. So, um, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I know this is different from my usual videos where I go into a political topic, but this one kind of concerned it. You know, I kind of wedged in politics towards the end there, but uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. I'll always be loving you.